In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Google Draw to create a mosaic fruit or vegetable. So I'm going to start out by going into my Google Drive. And then I'm going to go over and click on New and go down all the way to the bottom where it says More and click on Google Drawings. That should open up a new document. The first thing I want to do is give it a background color, so I am right clicking. I'm going over to background and I'm just going to choose black. So this is the color that's basically like the grout lines that will happen in between your mosaic pieces. Next I'm going over to images and I want to insert an image and search the web and I'm just going to type in strawberry. I like to pick one that's pretty simple. So you can see this is a clip art strawberry, not even a real one, because it kind of breaks down the colors and the shapes. I'm making it as big as I can get and I am centering it on my picture. Then I'm going to go ahead and name it. I'm using my last name, Alki, and then I typed in strawberry. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and start by making pieces. So I'm going to look at my toolbar here and on line I'm going to go down to the poly line tool. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to start up here in the green part and I click once, I move, I click again, I move, I click again and then I go back to where I started and now you see I have a shape. And I'm going to go to the paint bucket and I can choose whatever color I want to fill the shape. So I tried to match it closely to the green. Now that I have that green, I, my next shape that I draw will be the same color. So I'm going to click, move, click, move, click, move, click, and then try to get back to my first place that I clicked to create a full shape. Now you can make triangles, rectangles, um, pentagons, whatever kind of shapes you want, but notice I'm leaving a little bit of space in between each shape. That will give it kind of the mosaic feel. Now all of those are done. Now I'm gonna to move to a new section. Now notice this section is actually a darker green than what I was just working on, but I still have light green. So I have to go up to the paint bucket and choose a darker green so it matches the correct color. Now some of these areas on the strawberry are too small. I need a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna go over to my little zoom in and I'm going to do 200% and you can see that makes it a little bit easier to get some of these smaller areas filled in. Now I still have dark green so I have to now go over to my paint bucket and choose red instead to make sure that I'm filling in with the correct color. That piece I didn't like, so I went over to the select tool and I clicked on the piece and then I can hit delete or I can try to move it or change it. I didn't like one of the pieces, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit delete. And then I have to go back to my polyline tool in order to do the lines again. And you'll notice because I went away from it, it's gonna go back to that light blue color. So I have to go back and get the red from the paint bucket and fill it in. So I'm just going to try to go around each section and fill in my red since that's the color that I'm working in. I'm trying to get it close to the thing, the shape, it's, if it's not exact because obviously these are straight lines then that's okay. But I do want it to get as close as I can to the shapes that I see. I'm just kind of going around and using a variety of shapes to fill in the area. Smaller shapes will give you a more precise image. Larger shapes will 
give you more of a broad image. So, all right, you can see that I have done a lot of work since the last video. I've gone through and really tried to fill all the different areas of my strawberry. I have kind of the highlights in there, a lot of the seeds in there. I'm just trying to finish up a couple of those seeds. My brown's a little bit darker than the brown of the original picture, but they definitely still read as seeds, so it's not a big deal. I'm trying to go ahead and fill them in. I've already done the red, I've done the green. The seeds are kind of the last little step here. I messed up, so I just went ahead and hit delete right away. Now I'm going back in, filling up the shape. So I have to go back in and pick my brown. Making sure to try to match the shape as closely as I can. All right, I zoomed out again so you can see the entire strawberry. And I'm hitting the select tool and I'm clicking on my first picture that I originally chose for the strawberry. And I hit delete. So this will show me what it looks like as a mosaic, but also these two spots that I missed. So I'm gonna undo that so that my picture comes back. And now I wanna make sure to go ahead and fill in those two seeds that I missed. Um, to make sure that my picture is complete. I have to make sure to choose the right color again, and then I'm filling in those last two spots to complete the strawberry part of my picture. Looks good. All right, now I want to work on the background, and I do want there to be pieces in the background, but they don't need to be as detailed. So you can see I'm making my background pieces quite a bit larger than my strawberry pieces. And my favorite color is turquoise, but I don't see a turquoise here. So I'm actually gonna choose my own color or create a new color by dragging my color on this line here, choosing a, a shade of turquoise that I like. And now you can see my new color is there. So I just wanna choose a couple of shapes for my background so that I can fill in around my strawberry and complete the look of my Google mosaic. I'm making sure again to leave a little bit of space between those pieces so it does still have that mosaic effect. And really you could do whatever kind of pattern or design you want. If you wanna get a little fancier with the background and do some type of like tile pattern, you could. If you wanna do lots of different colors, you can. I'm choosing to do different shades of turquoise in mine just to make sure that it doesn't take away from the strawberry. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill the rest of this area up with the turquoise. I'm liking how that's looking. I'm trying to be really careful around the edges of my strawberry. I'm just making sure that all of that gets filled in. Now I do want this to get a little bit darker as it goes down my page. So I'm trying to make it kind of a little bit darker of a shade of turquoise than what's on top. And I'm kind of running out of time to show you all of the rest, but you definitely get the idea. So I'm just gonna continue filling all of the background. I can go ahead and delete my main picture so you can see all the nice black lines in between my shapes and 
We'll get all of that together, my background finished, and this is what you get. So here is my finished piece. I actually did go in and add a little bit of highlights to the strawberry as well, a little bit brighter highlights. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks and hopefully you will be able to create a beautiful design as well. Thanks for watching guys.